Sometimes you just pull the trigger in renting an Airbnb or a hotel and end up in paradise. Other times, you just want to pack up, go home, quit traveling, and burn your passport. But when we found that the sorrow in Cabo, Mexico, we definitely lucked out and found a gold mine of a resort. The Tesoro, I was told, was the only resort directly on the Marina Smack Dab in the Cabo Tourist District. Unlike other high traffic tourist destinations, you don't find yourself feeling trapped at all while staying at the Tesoro. Maybe that's partly due to its location in the marina or its close proximity to so many activities. Now I call the Hotel Tesoro a resort. It's technically not a resort, but you do get that resort-like feel because there's just so much around here to do. So, how much is it? One person for $20, 15 minutes. Que tipo? Que tipo? Español. What type of fish? What type of fish? What type of fish? A ver, no te entendí. Yo no hablo inglés. Ah, bueno. Okay, put Okay. So guys, the fish are eating the dead cells, skin cells. It feels so weird, but I need it. So let's see how it works out. I don't want this to come off like a commercial for getting your feet nibbled on by little fish, but it was freaking awesome. I'm known for having like messed up feet. <laughs> Honestly, this helped me out a lot and I'm gonna do it again. Oh, came off like a commercial, didn't it? One of the things that I especially love about the Tesoro is that they seem to be geared towards adults. Even though kids are welcome, Cabo, on the whole, seems to be more geared towards adults or couples who are trying to get away from the kids for a freaking second. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just playing. We love kids. We love kids. The rooms are very well kept. Even the rooms on the basic package are nice, but you don't get the view of the ocean or the marina. You get a street view, which isn't bad, but when compared to the marina, there's no contest, no competition. Okay, you can say one of those three. What do you prefer? Bathroom or view? I don't know. Let me see the no, other no, one first. No, no, no. <laughs> maybe, maybe you. <laughs> yeah, maybe you. So. Uh -huh. Oh wow. Wow. nice another thing that's really enjoyable about this hotel is the swim up bar and the fact that the pool stays open not the bar the pool stays open after hours I really enjoy swimming at night uh, for one because it's less crowded which the pool at the Tesoro isn't usually that crowded anyway but it's still less crowded at night and two, it is so much cooler and it gets hot. Oh yeah. The hotel is an hour and some away from the airport. So I'm guessing that's why there is no free shuttle. And the shuttle that's actually available is not 24 hours. In fact, it stops running at about 1 p.m. in the day. We don't have a shuttle at 2 a.m. When do you have? Only private ones. All it has is because the shuttle, that's the schedule only. So with that said, I believe renting a car in Cabo is a must. It's like, it's so easy to drive in Cabo. It's just like California. Look at this. Somebody come look at this. <laughs> 
Never mind. <laughs> Once you do arrive at the hotel, you're gonna realize that this location is really nice. I mean, it's close to everything. There's lots of shopping. There's tons of restaurants. But you said it wasn't a lot. Look yeah, at this. Lots of food, crab, lobster, calamari, scallop. Mm -hmm. yes, wow, thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, and the beach, the beach is really close. You can literally walk to the beach, go around the marina, and the beach is like right there. Oh, yeah, and the staff was always super nice to us and very, very accommodating. You can pay for an all inclusive breakfast dinner package or the breakfast only package. I always tend to opt for the all inclusive but the breakfast only package. It's less expensive for one, and I prefer trying different types of food later on in the day, as opposed to like scrambling around early in the day to find, you know, something to eat. So having that all-inclusive breakfast works out perfectly for me. So again, my thought process, the breakfast is right there. I know where it is. I don't have to go look for it. I eat the breakfast, build up my energy to go out and search for food that I have no clue when I'm gonna find it or if I'm even gonna find it. I don't have a lot of complaints about the hotel. I feel kinda nitpicky even bringing it up. I mean, shut up. 